Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to find the repository that we'll be working out of for this project and also how to set it up on your local machine. So to find the repo, you can find it at GitHub and you'll want to go to OOP coders. When you get to this page, go to repositories and the course that will be, or the repo that we'll be working out of for this course is the Angular Material course. Select this. And this is the repo that we'll be cloning in this video. But before we do that, let's take a look at the commits. How I set these commits up is I set it up with a number at the beginning. So for example, if you're working out of, let's say module four, and you're working on video 46, and you're only interested in that video, you could go to this commit. So after I finished each video, I did a commit for that video. So if you get stuck or something, you could just go to module four and find the video that you're interested in. Let's say you're in module four and then find the video. And then you could see the commit for that video. That also goes for, let's say you're not interested in module one, two, or three. You're only interested in module four. You could go back to the end of module three here or to the beginning of module four here and select one of these commits and start off at that starting point and finish out module four that way so you could jump around the course that way and later in the video i'll show you how we could jump around by using these commit branches here but let's start off by cloning the entire project and we'll go back to the angular material cores under code copy this now to get this project to run on our local machine you'll need to make sure you have node.js installed and I'm working with version 22 for this project. In the past, I worked with multiple versions of Angular. And when you're dealing with multiple versions of Node, it's easier to use what's called NVM. And this is a Node version manager. And this will allow you to jump to multiple versions of Node on your machine. When we set this project up, I'll be using NVM on my or in my local command line and I will jump to a version of 22 for node but first let's clone this project so make sure you copy this and we'll jump into the command line within the command line navigate to the folder you prefer I'll just throw it in my documents folder and then we'll enter in git clone and then paste in that URL from the repository and then hit enter once you clone the project, then you'll want to navigate into that folder and it's called Angular Material Course. And course, I'll just hit tab and it should fill it in for me. Now that we're in this folder, we'll want to check what node version we're running. So currently, if you hit or enter in node V, I'm currently running 18 as a version. That version is too early for version 19 of angular so i'm going to use nvm and i'll just list the versions i have on my machine here and using nvm allows you to work with multiple versions and the version i'm interested in is 22.13 that's the version i want to use for this angular material course so i'm going to clear everything out Then enter in NVM, use 22.13.0. Now, if you do not have NVM installed or set up, you'll want to go back to this page and set it up on your local environment. And this will allow you to install multiple versions of Node. Back in the command line, now, if we enter in node V, we're using version 22, so we're in good shape. Now we're ready to install the packages that we'll need. So I'll clear this out again and run NPM install. And before you run that, make sure you're within the Angular Material course folder though. So let's run this. This will take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. After you're done installing all the packages, you should see something like this, and that's great. And then I'll clear it out again. 
Now from within the command line, you should be able to start the application. So run ng serve. If you're seeing this, it means you successfully cloned your project and installed your packages. And now if you navigate to localhost 4200 on your browser, you should see a running version of this project. And now when you navigate to local 4200 within the browser, you should have a final working version of the application. Now let's open this up within Visual Studio Code and jump to different videos within this project. Within the command line, let's shut this down and then clear it out. Then I'm going to open it up within Visual Studio Code. Pick whatever code editor you prefer. Looking at the project from within Visual Studio Code, you should see the source folder, app folder. You should also have a pages folder with a bunch of components we'll be working inside of throughout this course. And you should already have a couple services set up for you as well. Now this is the finished version of the course. What if you want to jump back to a earlier version? Here in Visual Studio Code, I have a commit button here. And then it also shows me a timeline of all the different commits that were made throughout this course. And this gives me an option to see the commit number. If I hover on one, for example, and here is the commit number right here. If I hover on this again, there it is right there. You could copy that and jump to that video. If you don't have that option or you're working out of a different code editor, you could always just go back to GitHub. If we go back to that page and then go back to the repo. And then if we go back to the commits here and let's go all the way back to the beginning of the course. And that is called starting point. This one right here. And then I'll copy the S H A right here. Select this. Then back inside here, I'll open up the command line and I'm using git bash. Again, let's just double check my version. So node V and oops, it's 18. Need to jump back to, or up to version 22. So I'll enter in NVM use 22.13. Okay, that's great. So I'll clear it out again. Then enter in git checkout. Then paste in that number from the repository. And this should move you back to the beginning of the course. And as you can see, you can see that here. Let's run the application now. I'll clear this out. And run ng serve. Back in the browser now, you should see this. This is the starting point of the application. And the pages should all work. But we currently have no Angular material being applied to this project at this point of the course. If you're at this point, you're all set up and ready to go. Now in the next video, let's start off by installing Angular material into our new project.